Good morning children. Today we shall learn about addition of algebraic expressions. Now we know an algebraic expression is made of one or more terms. Algebraic expression can be named based on the number of terms. Like the expression with single term is called a monomial. Mono means one. So here the perimeter of square is 4 multiplied by side or we can say 4a when the side is a units. Here 4a is only one term. Expression with two terms are called binomials. Bi means two. For example, the perimeter of this rectangle is 2 multiplied by length plus 2 multiplied by width. 2l is one term and 2w is the second term where l and w are the length and the width of this rectangle. Same way, tri means 3. We add the prefix like mono, bi, tri etc. based on the number of terms in an expression. In general, an expression with many terms is called a polynomial. We can perform addition or subtraction with two numbers like here 25 plus 32. We can add them directly. If we replace 32 by 100, we can still perform the addition and we get the answer as 125. But in algebraic expression, addition or subtraction is possible amongst like terms only. For example, we can add 3x and 5x as both have the same variable factor x. But we cannot add 2l and 2w directly as they are unlike terms. And when we add the two like terms, we only look at the coefficient. We just add the coefficients and the algebraic factors remain the same. For example, we are adding 3x plus 5x. Here, 3 plus 5 equal to 8 and the algebraic factor remains the same. So, 3x plus 5x is equal to 8x. Another example, 8xy plus 11xy. Here, 11 plus 8 is equal to 19 and the algebraic factors remain unchanged. So the sum of 8xy plus 11xy is 19xy. Now, how to add two polynomials? We can add the like terms. So, let us add 5x square plus 12xy plus 13y square with 2x cube plus 6xy minus 5y square we add the like terms. So, 12xy would be added to 6xy. Now, 12 plus 6 is 18. So, we get 18xy. And there is one more like term. 13y square would be added to minus 5y square. 13 plus minus 5 is equal to 8. So, we get 8y square. Now, there is no like term for 5x square and 2x cube. So, they wouldn't be added to any term and remain as is. So, we'll write these in the answer without any changes as plus 5x square and plus 2x cube. Thus, we get the answer as 18xy plus 8y square plus 5 square plus 2x cube. Now we need to arrange the terms. Generally, polynomial are written in descending order of powers of any variable. And we start with the term with highest power. And then we move on to the next lower power of that variable and so on. So we'll write the term with x cube first, then x square followed by term with xy as in this term, the power of x is 1 and lastly y squared term as it doesn't have the x variable and hence it should be the last. Thus we get 2x cube plus 5x square plus 18xy plus 8y square. So let us revise what we learnt about the 
addition of polynomials. When we add two polynomials, we add the coefficients of the like terms. To make it easier, we can write the like terms one below other. Like here, we are going to add 2a square plus 4b plus 10c with 5a minus 6b minus 6c. We wrote every term under its corresponding like term only. Now just add the coefficients of the like terms. 2a square doesn't have any like term to add with so we just write it in the answer. Same way 5a doesn't have any like term to add with so we will write it as is. Now 4b will be added to minus 6p. 4 added to minus 6. 6 has a greater absolute value so the sign would be minus and the answer would be 6 minus 4 which is equal to 2 putting in the negative sign so minus 2b thus we get minus 2b next 10c added to minus 6c it would be 10 minus 6 is 4 so 4c so we get the answer as 2a square plus 5a minus 2b plus 4c so now you know how to add the two polynomials that's all for now Bye-bye children.